just personally go out there and put together a good game on the offensive line? I uh, definitely thought it was, I mean, it was, it was, it was exciting. Um, always room for improvement. We went out there and got better. Like I said, I'm trying to get, trying to get better each week. Um, I think we did that this week. And then going out of this game, we got to get better again. How did, how did things change at all with Coach Tagger kind of being around that segment most of practice last week? I mean, I, I think he was just trying to be around to see what we were doing and get, like, see how we were going through practice. But, I mean, for the most part, we all were the same amount of locked in as we have been. Like, we try to be, try to be focused every day and get our all every day at practice. I think, though, as a team and as a whole last week, we had um, more energy and more juice at practice, which I think um, helped out a lot for the game. What do you think success can do for the confidence of this team? I mean, every time you win a game, you get more and more you know, confident. So I think that the more games we win, it helps build momentum going to the next game. So we definitely need to win this game as well and keep building momentum and get a better record and stuff. And it helps the whole team as a whole get better and get more excited and keep playing. You know, there's that old cliche in baseball that a guy needs to see one get in play for him to kind of get his group back. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that what Saturday kind of felt like to see that you guys could do that consistently? Yeah, I think that it just showed that what we're capable of doing. I think we still aren't even close to what we can be. Um, as an O-line, as a team, as an offense, as everything, I think we just need to uh, just keep getting better and keep doing what we're doing. And I think that, you know, couple by, hopefully by the end of this game, by the next couple games, we'll see exactly what this team's made of. How is it with, with everything this team went through last year, new coaching staff, all the enthusiasm going into to the opener? Why did it take three weeks for you guys to really dial in, lock in, and, and play your best game? I wouldn't say it took three weeks for us to lock in. I mean, we also just learned a whole new offense over the summer, and we had a spring, a summer, and a fall camp. and. When you go from a personal offense to a spread offense, um, it's a little bit difficult. It's pretty different. And so I think that we had to get used to it. I mean, it's not – when you're going against your team and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's really easy to, you know, fight through plays. But once you face somebody you haven't faced maybe one time a year, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's pretty different. So I think that we just had to go through a game, a couple games, see what, get through it and get what, see what it's like. Now that we've done it and played with it, played in a game time situation, played, you know, with the clock going, with referees, with – you know, penalties, everything with like all the different things that come along playing in the stadium. I think we're starting to get used to our offense and really taking grasp of it and, and starting to excel with it. That's a really different starting lineup, starting group of five. I mean, every game so far. If you're able to have the same five out there, what can that do Saturday? Um, anytime you have continuity with the offensive line, it's um, a whole lot easier. You know, each other playing. I mean, the whole well, the thing is, we we all know how to play with each other because we've been rotating a lot in the past couple of years. But at the same time, when you have a solid core group, it's definitely um, a flow. Or it seems like it flows better, but at this point, um, I've said it before, we're all here on scholarship. We're all here to play football, here to protect DeAndre, and protect the running backs. And no matter who's in the game, they should be able to play. We should play next to each other and get the job done. The new post-game tradition of you guys getting, going over to the band, you're front and center with that. Is are you guys enjoying that? Because it seems like you guys are having I think a good it's time cool. I, mean, I think it's pretty. I think it's a good tradition um, between that and the new legacy walk. It's all pretty fun. I think it's cool. With high snap issues, is it a matter of getting out of rhythm, issue with a hand? What's well, brought that about times, at times? my hands have been bleeding a lot, um, which is no excuse for that. I've been busting my knuckles up so I get blown on the ball. But, no, I think that I'm trying to play a lot faster, and that probably has to do with it. But I'm focused this week is to get my snaps back down because I never really had that issue before mm -hmm. until this year. Um, but I think that I just, I'm just i trying to play faster, get out, get out quicker so I can get on blocks faster and help out. But, no, I definitely get that under control. That's um, something I'm going to fix this week. Last week, last week uh, you said that some guys from past teams have reached out to you. Who have those guys been? If I mean, I talked to all my old teammates, like um, Jose Matias, Nick O'Leary, Ryan Hofeld, stuff like guys like that. They still keep in contact, contact with me, kind of, and uh, like Keith Weeks, um, who played here as well. Um, Rick, Ryan, as though they just check on me and check on the guys and see how we're doing, just try to keep us focused, keep us locked in. Is there, any, um, is there anything special that they've said to you? Any? I mean, they all just saying, they all pretty much the same message. Like, don't give up. You got a lot of football left to go. I mean, the season's not close to being over. Keep pushing and keep getting, keep getting better each week. Is it a strategy thing or more trying to instill a mindset in you guys just pounding the heck out of the ball in the second half and maybe not busting anything big? I think that we're just trying to get our run game going. You know what I'm saying? We want to keep getting better and better with it. The more, the more you run it, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. And I think that um, I mean, we like running the ball. We just got to get to where we can bust some big ones. I think once you bust a couple big ones, people are going to be like, okay, I see what this is all about. I think it's going to be pretty good. So. All right, thanks.